favor of law and order? I'm in favor of law. You follow it. Are you in favor of law and order? Go yes, ahead. Yes, I'm You ask a question, let him finish. Law and order. Law and order. Let him in. Law and order with justice where people get treated fairly. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, the first presidential debate is now in the books. Chaos on the stage is just, just one way to describe what we saw tonight. I uh, tell you what, 11 Alive's Jeff Hollinger now joins us to provide some context and perspective of this historic night in American politics and what a night it was, Jeff. A wild ride. This debate, if you want to call it that, will be remembered not as much for substance or policy, but for impatience and interruption. We need to bring in some big guns tonight to figure all of this out for us. Theron Johnson, a senior advisor to Biden for President Georgia, and Mike Hassinger is a Republican consultant and 11 Alive political analyst. Gentlemen, and I think this exchange probably sums up the evening. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just agree. want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not first in your I, class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? All right, let's start with Mike Hassinger. Mike, how would you, as a grizzled political veteran, <laughs> describe what you saw and heard tonight? Uh, well, using words that you can actually say on live broadcast television, I would say Donnie Brook, uh, insult fest, or uh, a whole lot of crosstalk. Um, there wasn't any sort of uh, policy exchange. There wasn't any uh, idea debate. There was a display of an alpha male and whether or not uh, people who could, uh, who, who live by norms and precedents, uh, could put up with the, um, frankly, a bullying tactic that uh, Trump is famous for. Theron, same question to you. This whole presentation didn't go over very well in America tonight. Will anybody remember any of the points actual made, or is this where tone certainly outwits content, if there was any? I think the American people will remember how former Vice President Joe Biden did his best to try to respond in a very chaotic manner to President Trump. What I was very happy to see tonight is the fact that not only did former Vice President Joe Biden win this okay. debate, but he was able to actually talk about clear points of his plan, with how he gets us out of this deadly pandemic that has killed over 200,000 people. And also right here in Georgia, we're almost at 7,000 people dead. He had a very clear plan of, about how he was going to deal with the health care crisis that we have in this country. All right, Mike, I, ultimately, I, I, I'm going to keep moving Theron here. We don't have a lot of time left. President Trump behaved the way probably everybody thought that he would. His base probably liked what they saw tonight, but he is trailing overall in the polls. We don't have a lot of time left. So if you give, give me some brief answers to this, Mike, I'm going to begin with you. Then we'll go to Theron. Did he do anything to fix that tonight? Did Trump do anything to fix uh, moving voters his way? That's correct. I, I don't think so, no. I think what he did was he actually turned off undecided voters. Um, Trump wants his base to show up and only his base. And if that means discouraging people who haven't made their minds up yet, I think he uh, accomplished that, which is extremely unusual. Theron, you get the last word here. Did Vice President Biden stand up to the attack tonight well, do you think? He did a phenomenal job, and I agree with Mike. I mean, really, most voters have their minds made up of who they're going to vote for, but there is a lot of voters out here in Georgia and other battleground states that were undecided. I think clearly tonight, Vice President Biden showed why he should be the next president of the United States of America. Theron Johnson, thank you. Mike Hassinger, we appreciate it. Both of you make 11alive.com your home for all things politics. Just download the 11 Alive app to stay informed as we count down the days until Election Day in November.